Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that I use called Super Machine, which is an AI image generation tool that allows you to quickly and easily create images or any digital art so that you can use on your website or you may even be able to sell it. So let's get started. So I've already logged into the dashboard here and in the make images page here, just all you need to do is you type in what you want the AI machine technology to create. I'll demonstrate a few examples that I'll you know, come up in my own head, but I'm going to show you these options here, which is the image aspect. So you've got different image aspects, which is just the size of the image you want the AI machine learning technology to generate for you. So you've got landscape, square, tall, portrait, and standard. Now the way this system users is you have to buy purchase credits there are monthly fees unless you you've got a deal i've already put a description in the deal so you can if you click on the deal you get a, a special deal so make sure you check that out now you you basically use credits depending on the type of format you want to generate so for example if i picked standard 16 by 9 it just uses one credit if you use landscape which is a different image resolution it will use 1.5 credits in this example i'll just use a standard 16 by 9 and all you need to do is use specific keywords of what you want the ai machine technology to create for for you so in this example i'm just saying i'm going to put a tiger on top rock cartoon style let's see what that generates it is a hit and miss sometimes you gotta redefine what you are entering in terms of the your the description and keywords to further improve the image you want the ai engine to create for you like in these previous examples it's been really hit a hit and miss sometimes like in this one the face is a bit manipulated some of these don't make sense but let's see what the AI machine engine created. So here's a cartoon style of, uh, yeah, a tiger. It's not really sitting, it's just uh, standing on top of the rock. And it is cartoon style. So you can keep changing it, changing these keywords. Let's see, man, airplane. Just gotta remember every time you do a, a, a general or create an image, it will use a credit. So that's something to keep in mind. But you do have a minimum amount of credits that you will get when you actually purchase the subscription plan. So there you go. So there's a, a man in an airplane. See that, I don't know what this is his hand. It looks like a little bit manipulated. Yes, it's good for cartoon style images like this one here. I type in dog flying on clouds, cartoon like Superman and generate this one. It looks very, a little bit childish, but it did do its job. Quality isn't, wasn't that great, but it still did its, did its job in generating an image based on this keyword. And this one here, I did put in dog flying on the clouds and that's what it generated. The the legs are, are sort of missing for some reason. So, so yeah, it possibly maybe that the AI technology just removed it. But let's have a look at another example. Let's put in here now the garden style and, and just put it rain, rain. Let's see what that creates. Yeah, this one here looks very weird now. It, it is in a garden. Yeah, it looks a bit weird. Now you can try to improve the prompts to help you further enhance the image your the AI engine is going to generate. So let's put it here, tiger sitting rock. Let's see what IDs or what other keywords we can use to generate. So it says here you can edit or modify any of these results to get exactly what you need. The more detailed, the better. Include your favorite artists, include the settings, include the, le the lens of camera. There are a ton of options. You can really craft a prompt to make an awesome image. Okay, let's pick this one here. Let's change it and let's see what it generates. Oh, this is not bad. So yeah, there is a tiger sitting on uh, a rock. This lying down on a rock, but that's pretty good. Now there is a feature to upscale the image. So if I was to download this image here, the way it is, you don't use any additional credits. If you were to download the image, it's only when you're generating. The resolution is 704 by 384. So that's a pretty small image. If you were to upload a website that uses high quality images, this would look uh, pretty low quality. So what you can do is you use the enhance or upscale image option here, and then you can upscale it four times. Now, if you've got image with images, you can upscale it and use the fancy face enhance option here. Let's just upscale it. And the other thing you need to remember is that upscaling it, we use one credit. So let's upscale it and see the quality of that image that it has been upscaled. It looks like it's using some AI engine to also upscale the image. And if you were to actually supply this image to your clients, if you're gonna use this tool, you will normally just supply it in a high resolution image. Let's see the 
size of this image yep there you go 12 16 by 15 36 is should be technically four times the size of this one. yep there it is 704 by 384 and 12 by so that's four the the width and the height and obviously the image size is a lot bigger let's see the actual quality quality is pretty good so if i zoom you can see that it's not as blurry compared to the smaller image this is the small image and if i zoom in yeah you can see it's pixel so that's the upscale feature and yeah the improved prompt there is also another option here image reversal so if you were to upload an image here the system will try to detect what it is and you spit out some keywords so then you can actually try to replicate that that image and use those keywords to recreate it Let's take a little while 20 to 30 seconds but as you can see it's very easy to generate just random images that you can use for your website you can actually use these for commercial purposes as well according to the website and also you can sell these images let's see what it's got here oh there you go this is what is generated so you can use and modify these actual uh word keywords so let's see if i'll put it here let's see what it generates there you go a pig doesn't look like the original but it still yeah it still resembles a, a pig and it's very different and it's probably unique so there you go guys this tool really easy to use quick way to just generate images using AI and you can use it on your website you can use it to sell as an NFT according to this website and you can actually create a lot of images as you can see the, the I had originally 750 credits and you can use it on a monthly basis and renews every month depending on the pricing plan that you purchased so there's a lot of images you can use and you can upgrade that if you really wanted to create more images in that month i've already put a link in the description which you can click on and check to see what deal is available at this given time and if this video helped you in any way please give it a like and subscribe to the channel